Hi. Um, this has been on my mind for a while, so I'm going to dump it out here. And yes, I know it's going to be triggering people. Um, take a breath. And I mean this in more than one level, so stick with me. Yes, I know this is rubbing some people the wrong way already because the whole thing about we can't breathe and the whole thing with masks is a whole other conversation, but I'm not speaking about that, in not directly. What I am speaking about is we need to like collectively take a breath as a culture, as a society, as a people, because so much stuff is being thrown at us, some intentionally, some accidentally, that's giving us no time to breathe. So this, this thing that's been in my mind for a while is the fact that so many people are in, reactory, in reaction mode. <clears throat> Let's try to choke there. <coughs> Excuse me. I had something earlier that just stuck in my throat. Taking a breath, see? But taking a breath is something that we can all do. And I'm not going to get, I don't want to get into the, into the whole political thing and the, and the, the upset over George Floyd. <coughs> Excuse me a second. <coughs> I kept it out of reach, but it kept close to me. I'm choking as I'm saying this, which is really interesting timing. What I want to speak about though is the fact that we've all been pushed to the edge. I'm watching so many people I know and having challenges with people I know in social media in particular where the reactivity and the reactionary responses, the attacks, the assumptions, the lack of thought that goes into some of the posts I see and comments on posts and reactions to posts, it's very distressing. Now, I'm not taking it personally because I, I know better than that. <laughs> However, I'm very aware that for many of us, we're so... Um, reactive and not breathing like you're a ping pong ball in a, like in a, in a ping pong match, table tennis match and basically you're being hit back and forth so quickly by what's happening, you're not sure what to think who to believe, what the truth is here's the thing if you take a slow deep breath and bring yourself present all of that chaos, all of that cacophony all of that disruption goes away for a second the old phrase about you know counting to 10 if you get upset it's kind of like that is the fact that, that really plays out right now with what's happening on social media what's happening in, in, in what we're doing and it's where we're losing control and watching people um lose their <laughs> shit <laughs> in some things that have been posted i'm having arguments with, i'm having just a difference of opinion i'll say it that way it wasn't arguments there's an opinion of people on with messages going back and forth. If, and if, you, if you've been like me, you've been inundated with people sending you messages of all these videos and, and memes and, and p images that 90% of the time have no relevance because they're not always true. And if there were, and it's, there's something about Messenger that's getting really challenging right now because it's invading your private space. You know, with, with Facebook posts, it's in your newsfeed, it's one thing. But when somebody messages you, messages you directly saying, you know, you must watch this, or this will change your life, or this will upset you, or whatever that is. That's personal. <laughs> or it can be. So, I wanted to just talk a little bit, maybe vent a little bit, but certainly inform a little bit here about the, the, the idea of it taking a breath. And I mean it simplistically. Is when stuff gets chaotic, which it's been doing a lot lately, taking a time to take a breath can change your perspective. And yes, I know with all, all the, all, and I was, uh, this weekend I was up in Santa Monica where we were doing a lot, with a lot of painting going on and We Can't Breathe was prevalent and it's all, and it's all the, build, it's all the um, placards at all the marches. I know the timing is interesting, but I'm watching this being a reminder to all of us that because we can, we should take a breath. Because we are in a place where there's so much being thrown at us, again, intentionally and accidentally, that is knocking us off center including Agent Orange, including some of the mass media, including some of the um, reports and videos that are out there. It can be very tempting to get righteous and upset and hurt and have hurt feelings. But my point is this, taking a breath can help you navigate this because the simple act of doing that, of stopping for a second before you hit that send key or, or um, delete somebody's friend, 
delete somebody as a friend or react somebody on their messenger. You take a breath first to take a slow breath and consider your options. You switch gears from reactivity out of control into responsive choice. And it could just save your relationships, your marriage if you have one, your friendships, your job. A lot of things that you may forget about when you're in the moment of reactivity come back into consciousness when you stand, take a moment to be still. I'm watching friends of mine who are, who are conscious, doing all the work, same as I've been doing the work, who have been saying things on social media, which frankly is a little disheartening because they, I believe they didn't stop and think. They didn't stop and breathe. They didn't stop and consider what they were going to be doing. I've been in my own journey myself with what's been happening and, and, and it's been challenging in a lot of ways. I mean, I'm not, I know and, and I feel for my, my African-American friends, close friends, people I, I commune with, with what they're going through. Because the thing is, what's, what they're going through, that isn't new. It's just at a, a new peak because it's been going, for, going on for over 100 years. But I don't, I don't want to go down that path because that's not, that's not my position right now. That's not my place either because, you know, this color skin may not be as received as well. But I have, I have a feeling for that, having been through my own journey when I was younger, being, being raised Jewish in a very non-Jewish community, there was stuff to deal with. Anyway, off the table, back to the topic, taking a breath. I learned through, what you know, speak, speak for a second. That was where the lesson started for me, was learning how to stay present by, by taking a breath and not being a reactionary, reactive, upset, indignant, angry person. It probably saved my life on one on one occasion. So this idea of taking a breath is sounds as simple as it sounds, is a game changer for some people. And if you've been caught up in the chaos of what's been happening, if you've been caught up with the media reporting and the social media um, proof that's going out around different things, including the coronavirus, including 5G, including Black Lives Matter, all these areas are areas certainly of concern. So I'm not don't want to downplay any of it. And we have a choice. We have a choice to take a breath each time something happens and then decide how we want to respond. You have free will. Remember that. So this little chat is a reminder that taking a breath, taking a moment, pausing in your thought process to come present to who you are is how we never get back to ourselves and how we learn and remember to truly change the course of our lives. Being reactive all your life is going to shorten your life. Your health will suffer. It has, for many people, it has suffered. Heart attacks, cancer, other ailments generally come along because of our body stressing. And when you're not learning how to breathe and respond, you're pushing your stress level higher and higher and higher. And stress is not, it stress is a killer. So this advice I'm giving you, yes, will improve your health as well as it improves your relationships, it'll improve your life. And it sounds so simple. But if you take that into your life and practice daily, where things, when, when things, excuse me, when things happen that knock you off center, that, that, that challenge your ability to stay present, that, um, that throw discord at you, when you choose to take a breath, you step free of all of that chaos being thrown at you by somebody else, something else, that may be attempting to control your emotional response, you step free of that. And by having that choice to take a breath, to be present to what's happening, you can then choose to respond at your own level, at your own desire, at your own want. So this is a quick little challenge. I was gonna think about, should I wanna to lead to anything? Bottom line is, this is a technique that's so simple, but it needs practice. And in my coaching with my clients, what I'm really passionate about is helping them navigate back to center to really own their space. And part of that is this. And it sounds so simple, I know. But next time it, you forget and you're reacting, I hope you remember to catch yourself and go, oh, hang on a second, I don't have to do that. When someone cuts you off in traffic, well, there's, well, there's less traffic now than there has been for the last few months. When someone sends you an email 
or someone comments on your post or someone sends you a message over Facebook that gets you amped up, upset, distressed, reactionary. Stop in that moment and think to yourself, do you want to be stressed or do you want to be able to respond? And response to me is a choice point because response means you have freedom to choose what you want to do. Reactionary, there's no choice. When you're in reaction, you're basically, well, you're a puppet on somebody else's strings. Not recommended. This part of the talk I do about codependency. And, and yes, even this is about codependency. Not just about romantic relationships. So I'll be actually be doing a, a live talk tomorrow, which I'm not sure if it'll be live or recorded for later broadcast. So I'm going to talk about I'll post it tomorrow if it's up. Follow my, check on my wall tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to talk about, we're doing a codependency series starting tomorrow. This is part of that, in a sense. When we don't take a breath and we choose to react and respond, we let some, excuse me, we choose to react out of stress, we let somebody else control our emotional strings. Taking a breath is one of the simplest, most potent steps to taking those strings back. Or well, it's cutting them completely so you can be free. So remember that you have dominion. Remember you have freedom. Remember you have choice. And remember you can breathe. And yes, I know. This is going to rub people the wrong way because of the I can't breathe conversation that's been going on for a while now. Two weeks now. So my invitation to you in your personal life is to choose to take conscious breath when something doesn't go the way you want. In fact, even when things go the way you want, take a breath because it's time then when you're in gratitude to breathe in the gratitude. If things go the way you want, why not be grateful? So lots of layers to this. And I do invite your comments and questions if you have thoughts about this. And I know some people are upset because of the, maybe I said because of the languaging, but I'm, I'm gonna talk about this. As a, this, is what tri this is what, that's what triggered this. I hope it's been relevant to you. If you have questions, comments, put them below. If you know, talk to me, message me over social media. Um, and I hope this helps. Take a breath, be still, consider your response. It frees you up from the reactionary stress you don't wanna carry. That is how it works. With that, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow. No, excuse me, tomorrow. That's how I used to do them every day. <laughs> These are random. I haven't done the talk for about two weeks, so I just need to do one today. I'm uh, going to be interviewed tomorrow, so that might be live. We'll see. I'll post tomorrow if it does go live. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. Um, if you want to share this with your friends, please do so. If you have any questions, comments, again, put them below. I will respond um, rather than react. <laughs> and if you have any suggestions, thoughts, attitudes, let me know. If you have any questions you want me to talk about or if you have any topics you want me to talk about, let me know that too. And uh, it's all part of this self-mastery umbrella, which is going to change to a better name when I think of what it'll be. And uh, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care.